race. So, Dean, what are your special memories of the Tour Series? Oh, yeah, winning as, a, as an individual, but also winning as a team. Uh, many rounds that we won as a team uh, in the, uh, the Rafa Condor Sharp days. So, those are my special memories. But um, also, probably... As a team event, it, it was all about, it was all new concepts ten years ago, and getting getting in quickly to know about how that worked was what we did as a team very quickly with the likes of myself, Christian House, John Erity at the helm, you know, Tommy Southam, Darren Lapthorne, Zach Dempster, Briggsy, Ed, you know, the list goes on. Like so, winning it in 2011 was pretty good. The overall team award um, that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, just just racing with a, a lot of great. Great racers, great great bike riders. Get great bike riders has been pretty cool over the last well ten years. Yeah. You were there at the beginning. Now you're here on the hundredth edition. What do you think of the, what, the things that stand out that are different? Obviously, the riders get it more now. Yeah, my great hairs. I think <laughs> ten years is a long time. But yeah, it, it was a it was a totally new concept um, in the beginning in 2009, and you know we we quickly got it. Um, but we yeah, we got it quickly. Yeah. But also as well, like there's there's stories of which everybody knows of me winning a individual round and getting told off for winning by John. And you, I look back at it now, and even just straight after that, we're like, well, actually, yeah, it would have been better me as a sprinter to hold back, send one of the riders up the road, i.e. the endurance guys such as Tommy Southern and Lappers or Demers or you know, and then me get the points from the bunch kick, but. We're all bike racers, and what happened on that day is that I, I attacked and then I went up the road, and they let me go because that was it. And then they, other teams cleared up the, the points behind, so everybody had to get it um, quickly. So um, over the years, it's changed the rules a little bit. Now it's time based and four riders. It was three riders. It was three riders back in the day. And you had laps out. And you had laps out, yeah. So I, uh, I was fortunate enough to have laps out in some points, but I crashed or I think it was a couple I had flats in and one of my gears broke and so you know I was that was the rules then so you took the laps out but you know r rumor has it that riders were taking the mickey of the, the lapped out rule in certain courses and um, that that just stopped it for everybody so and now it stopped it for the whole of the UK and criterion racing so that's one of those things that's changed and straight away when that changes it changes the dynamic of the race because not as many risks if you're taking risks you've got to take the consequences which is get to the pits chase if it's a bike change you've got to chase we saw some great I mean great manoeuvres from from Hank the other night and he had a nightmare for all that he crashed and split his chin from what I've seen and he was chasing all race and you know Hank's a very very good crit rider um, very good rider outright but he, he was doing the utmost to keep that position by having I think it was like a three bike changes or something so that's kind of how it's changed and it's it's all team based now four riders t uh, times so it's changed over the years it's got more intense um, a lot of riders come here from abroad to do this series um, and the standard of racing is is high very high standard in terms of the victories in terms of a team victory and individual you've experienced both Reality, honestly, what is better? Is it the team victory on the night, or is it just getting those bloody hands in the air? Hands in the air, 100%. <laughs> I'm a bike racer. I'd love to win bike races. Like I keep saying, we got the individual, so we got the team, we got the grasp of the team award, great. So winning the team award was fantastic, but no, in the first year I was British champion, so I'm not yeah. going to lie. Winning twice in the British champs jersey individually for me was great. I got... I got the Mickey taken out of me for the first one with my own nipple twig, and then I got told off for winning from my boss, from John Erity. But the win's there. But we did win a lot of team victories along the way. And when you when you stood up there, and you know, in the early days, we all had champagne and the trophies, and you know, lots of press. Team owners are happy. Team sponsors are happy, and you have a lot of fun with your teammates on that podium when you've won the team award. And then thinking back about when we won the. We, we got, I think it was Canary Wharf where we got the team award overall uh, and it went down to the wire and I think I was second on that night and knowing what positions the other guys were in, in behind we, we'd won already like so that team victory then on that night gave us the overall 
and that was a pretty cool night. Um, yeah, great on the podium. Great for a pizza afterwards and a lot of fun. But it's the, it's the camaraderie of the team. Whoever wins that, yeah, you know, with, like JLT Condor have won it. We won it as Rafa Condor. Madison have won it. Um, you know, all the teams that have won it, it, it. It's about the team. It's nice for the individual riders to to do that as well to to win the individual round. Um, yeah, so. Finally, what's your assessment of the 2018 series? Um, pers- personally, yeah, and this is this is the thing when it's it's four it's it's four team members that count now for time wise. Um, crashes are, if crashes happen in your team, puts you massively on the back foot. If bike changes need to be done, it puts you massively on the back foot. It is, there's a bit of luck involved, but. You know, I know JLT had a nightmare in Wembley Park. Um, from what I understand, talking to my riders who were in the event as well, Briggsy crashed on the first lap. Something happened to Jermaine. They were both on the back foot straight away. Uh, and then Tom Moses had a big, big crash um, and took a long time to come round. Straight away, they're, they're all over the place as a team. And riders, they don't know what's going on. Ed's still at the front. They're straight down the field from first to seventh, I think, or sixth they got. And that's a massive points loss. And that puts them straight out of the running for the overall now. So that's a big loss for for JLT Condor as a as a squad. And that's part of bike racing. Um, is there anything way around that? I don't think there is. Every team has to adhere to the rules of no laps out, etc. And crashing is bad luck. Um, on a personal note, for me and the Holzer boys, we've had a lot of bad luck. We have a lot of illness in the squad. So therefore, I spoke to Russ um, after his RAS to try and get him in for the last two rounds and he's ill so I'm not going to risk his health over that um, and, you lost Tom. and we lost Tom due to a broken collarbone or due to an accident and he's broke his collarbone but um, yeah for us the 2018 rounds have been difficult it's a young squad but we've been getting stuck in and been in breakaways been in the 15th place we've been 5th to 6th to 7th team overall but it's a young team several of the team have never done the tour series before our Aussies like oh my word this is not like a crit race in Australia it's so fast and furious from the off um, it is what it is they, they've got stuck in so I'm happy with that but um, I'm just happy for the, the team that and speaking to Mick Bennett the, 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 the boss who we've been chatting to today he was happy for us to still be here as a team in the last two rounds with three riders so um, for me as a team manager and as a brand that's good for the team to be seem to be still getting stuck in for the last two rounds so and then yeah. refocus on the road. Yeah, refocus on the road. Uh, a few of the lads have the nationals. Uh, the Irish riders have the nationals. The two Italians have gone back or going back for the nationals. And then it's crit time again in July. So, um, but as a as a as a as an ex racer of the Tour Series, it's been pretty exciting uh, with the team swapping at the top. Um, and it's down to the last wire with um, after the last round with Canyon and um, Madison Genesis. So um, that'll be a good fight tonight, I think. You enjoy watching it? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm a bike racer so I enjoy watching the <laughs> and just enjoy watching where my riders are. Yeah. And as strange as it sounds, probably shouldn't say it as a manager of a different teams, but it's nice to see where my friends are and you know, my mates who are racing on opposite teams now and you know, it was nice to see Connor Swift in the in the in the fight for the line the other night with Tom Pidcock and nice to see Edwin the other night in, in um in Aberdeen. So yeah, I still love cycling, I still love Coming in around all these uh, big events, so it's, yeah, it's good. You were to put yourself in fourth man. <laughs> there was talk of that. There was talk of that. But yeah, we didn't have a bike small enough, so or kit big enough. <laughs>